What up, dog? What up? Oh. What up? What up, y'all? Hey, so I just passed my FAA Part 107 Safe Operations Over People Waiver. Sat down to take it or apply for it. I was intimidated. I'm not an engineer. So I'm looking at this going with a blank page. I'm like, what do I even put in here? And then it hit me and I had an idea. And I'm going to, as a, as a thank you to y'all, as a, as a, an appreciation for just all the cool FPV people in the world, I'm going to share this tidbit with you, hopefully benefit from it as well. And when you see it, it's going to blow your mind. It's super simple. It's another installment to to my AI in FPV. I've been pumped about it. I've been waiting and waiting and waiting for, for this approval to come through. Because if it worked, then I could share this with y'all and give back and just, just share some love. That's all. You know what I'm saying? So real quick, what we're going to do is we're going to go to FAA Drone Zone. And if you haven't been there before, you're going to need to create an account. When you create this account, you're going to also need to add a drone into your inventory, whatever drone it is that you plan on flying, whatever Cine Whoop, what have you. I went with the Vada 2 just simply because of the safety features for flying over crowds. You can put whatever you want in there, but you will have to have an account and you will have to have at least one drone to use on your application. We'll go through all the uh, all the questions. I'll show you the proper questions for safe operations over people. We'll go into the nitty gritty, the trick, the hack, the you're gonna love me for this. So let's go over to desktop. Let's just do a Google, Google search on FAA drone zone. All right, so let's go ahead and log in. Obviously I have an account already. We're gonna go to our dashboard. This is where you're going to Add in your your drone, your inventory. I have seven or six different ones that I've got in here. Uh, we'll use one for this application. There's my user. You can see here I've been approved. I've got two uh, applications canceled and one under review. The one that is approved is for daylight and twilight. The one under review is for nighttime, safe operations over people. The reason I did that is I don't think they're going to approve the nighttime but it's worth a shot. That chance of it not getting approved, I didn't want to put all three time uh, scenarios in one application, then they deny it. And then I'm sitting there going, so why did they deny this? Is it because of the nighttime? Is it because I didn't word something properly? I didn't answer a question properly, what have you. So I decided to keep it simple. And we'll just go day, night, daytime and twilight, try and get that approved. Cause that's really the legit, the meat, the meat. And then I'll try for, for nighttime. I would recommend doing that. Keep things simple, uh, keep them compartmentalized. That way, if they do deny something, you're not trying to look at a broad picture, you're looking at a smaller picture, trying to adapt from there. So, you got your account, you got your drone in here. Now we're gonna come down here and we're gonna create a part 107 waiver authorization. We're going to select, select operational waiver and we're gonna come down here and answer these questions. There's a couple that are kind of confusing, but you can just follow along with me and, and we'll get you straight. So uh, select time of day, I'm gonna go with daylight and I'm gonna go civil twilight. That's, that shouldn't be a problem. <clears throat> Does it have anti-collision lighting? Yes. With the new, new uh, guidelines, you had to have a daytime one nautical mile strobe light visibility, nighttime, Twilight is three miles, but during the daytime, it's one mile. So you do have to have a strobe. So we're going to say yes. Wait, we're going to change this to grams, and we're going to put 493. My Vada with the strobe light and the strobe light mount is 493 grams. So we're, we're straight there, we're under the 499. Transporting property, we're going to say no. We're not making deliveries with this. So none of this other stuff turns white because it doesn't apply. Control station, we're gonna select other, because we're not in any of these, we're in other. Visual line of sight, yes, it'll be visual line of sight. Visibility from control station, yes, you can see it from where we're flying. Single aircraft, yes, we're not doing a, doing a swarm show or anything like that. And right away, can we move out of the, out of the path of incoming aircraft, yes. 
ground speed since it's cinematic whoops things of that things of that nature just went with 10 miles per hour and the max altitude we're gonna go with 400 feet right distance from clouds so left to right can you stay 2,000 feet away from the clouds to the to the right or left and 500 from from above you yes over people or moving vehicles we're gonna say yes operation uh, category not compliant that's what we're gonna put here over move, moving vehicles we're gonna say no I'm gonna do a second waiver for over moving vehicles but I, I just wanted to get over people approved and, I, and then we'll just keep compartmentalizing applications that way next one you're gonna go through here and it's gonna review that information if everything is correct you're gonna hit next here you can add other waivers you can if you want to like I said I'm gonna keep mine simple I want them to be as, as safe as possible when they read this thing like this guy's got his game on and then if 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 they deny something I'm only looking at a small a small issue versus it could be so many different variations we're gonna name it and you want to give it a, a logical title you want something that communicates a safety mindset then we're gonna come up to here all this information is correct all my address and everything's correct I will be the pilot so I'll click on that I will put my pilot ID in there this is all correct hit next now we're into the meat this is where it's kind of like well, what do I put here I, I don't fly jets I'm not in the Air Force uh, I'm not a career pilot I'm not an engineer uh, what where do I where do I where do I go what do I do what do I start what's what's the the knit and gritty and so I started thinking about it and this is where you're gonna thank me this is where this is where it comes in so this is the the waiver we're asking for we're looking for a waiver safety explanation method by which the proposed operation can be safely concluded conducted so why don't we copy this and start out with write me a safety explanation how they word it word it safety waiver explanation for paste and when they say here method by which the proposed safety over people I will and describe your your drone I will be operating a DJI Avada two way uh, was it 493 grams with prop guards you had to have prop guards uh, remote identification and a three nautical mile mile visible strobe light I will be operating operating at venues venue at venues and communa communicating with um, event staff safety staff law and for enforcement law enforcement with LA in its Lance approval if required now 
Let's see what she gives us. I mean, isn't this beautiful? Look at this outline. Instead of having to spend all this time writing this out, boom, here's a complete safety plan written out for me. Now what we'll do is we'll come up here and we'll take a look real quick, give it a quick over, over, overview, because sometimes you gotta input information or you may need to go back and add information to your prompt in order to get it to spit out a, a, a more clear, more accurate. Uh, but let's take a look. Uh, drone, 493, quit, prop guards, identification, three nautical miles, over people during specific, specific events, the waiver ensures all necessary uh, precautions and safety measures are in place. Drone specifications of auto two, prop guards, remote identification, strobe light, event coordinate, event coordination, communication with event staff, staff, law enforcement, ensures everyone is informed about the drone operations, Lance, Venue, drone operation coordinated with the venue management to ensure safe pass, minimize risk to ground, uh, people on the ground, law enforcement community. Uh, so what I would say is we need to put in here, those that you're flying over have to be aware, so we'll add something in here to communicate that. Safety procedures, pre-flight checklist, always smart. Flight plan, crowd management, measure to take management and inform the crowd. There you go, we're good, we're good. Emergency protocols, they wanna see that. Open. Operator training, survive pots, continue education, summary. I like it. So let's come up here and let's just copy this whole outline. Copy, paste. Step one done. Now, since this, at this time, this is August 4th, and it usually takes them two months to uh, approve these. Let's just go ahead and go out to September and they will update the date for you from the date they approve it. Um, so if it's October, they'll update it to the date they approve it. But let's go ahead and put it out September 1st and September 1st, 2025. Now, initially I asked for four years uh, approval. They only approved me for one. So I, I assume that's gonna be their limit uh, maybe maybe the second time you do it, if if you come up for a second time, maybe they extend it by multiple years at that point. But a year is good. Now we're down to our, our second question: proposed location of operation. Provide a specific area within the class of airspace that you wish to operate. So this is where you have to think a little bit. Initially, you're thinking this concert, this outdoor event, GPS coordinate, blah blah blah. But we want to be broader than that. We want we want we want a, a waiver that covers us for a year for everything we do. So this is how we're going to word that. Write me a sitting session. Da, 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 da. Let's just copy that. Replace this. Paste. Strobe light. Let's go in here. Uh, Write me a, a safety waiver explanation for, for, for pro proposed, what was the wording? Proposed, like, proposed location of operation. operations in class G airspace and controlled air space up to UASFM. Hey y'all, Daxter from the future. Hey, I forgot one thing and I ask you to forgive me because as I'm making this video, I'm trying to think about the video at the same time I'm trying to think about the question at the same time I'm trying to think about the way I originally structured it. So I left one very important thing out when we're talking about the location, the class G. Don't forget to also ask for B, C, D, and E according to USAF limits. All right, I'll put that up on the screen so that you can type it. So when you type out class G, you want more than just class G. You want everything that's not restricted. Class G, 
plus B, C, D, and E according to USA FM limits. All right, I'll put that in the box for you so you can type that in. Back to the video. I will be operating up to 400 above ground level. A <laughs> ground level and with L-A-N-C-C approval if required. Let's see what that gives us. All right, so let's go back here and proofread this. Drone wave from another group, prop guards from like 390 mile over people and new class two airspace and controlled airspace up to, up to, you know, unmanned aircraft system facility maps. The waiver ensures all necessary precautions and safety measures are in place to protect participants, spectators, and staff. Wait, so that all looks right. Protocols, airspace classification, class two airspace. Approval, yes, correct, staff, staff, law enforcement, sure there was. Pre-flight checklist, flight plan, crowd management, emergency protocols, prepared training. I like it, so let's come up here. Uh, copy. Paste. Now we're down to the last few questions. Proposed maximum flight. Put 400. I had put 399, but they changed it to 400. Is there a pending or approved waiver all the reasons associated with this proposed operation? You're going to say, nope. Go hit next. You're going to choose the aircraft that you're going to operate in this environment. And I chose the Avada 2. And here's your application. Everything is in there. Submit. I hope you found this helpful. I hope this helps some of you out there that are just kind of like, I don't know what to do here. ChatGPT was a godsend here. It made my application like that fast. And they came back with one request for additional information. They asked a more specific question question about the area I'd be operating in and I had explained to them it'd be a venue and I'd be coordinating with all this staff and the uh, attendees and then they asked about uh, the weight of the drone and I had then again had to reconfirm that it was under the, the weight limit. Two days later I got their approval. All right with that said I wanted to share this with y'all. I wanted to show some love back to y'all. I hope hope y'all appreciate it. If you do, if you do like this, if you do appreciate that my help on this, please hit a like. Please give me a subscribe. I'm just having some fun. And the, the more the more positive feedback I get, the more fun I'm having. So with that said, love y'all. Peace out. Have a good day. Happy flying.